So what did I take away from the military that has been beneficial for my job as a surgeon? In this video today, we're gonna to talk about that. What's up everyone? My name is Dr. Antonio Webb. I'm an orthopedic spine surgeon here in San Antonio, Texas. For those that do not know, I was in the military for eight years before medical school. So I joined the military right out of high school at the age of 17. I joined um, at a time in my life where I felt like I needed to get out of the environment that I was in. If you guys have heard my story, I grew up in a really challenging background. I have a documentary about it and I'll put that right up here. But I joined the military, number one, to have a way to pay for school. Number two, get out of the environment that I was in. Number three, partially because my father and my brother, his, my father's father was military also, so I come from a military background, and I wanted to gain some medical experience before going to medical school. I knew exactly what my plan was going to be going into the military. I told myself, hey, I was gonna go in, have college paid for, gain some medical experience, get out and go to medical school. That's exactly what I did. So what are some things that I took away from the military that helps me to this day that is very beneficial? Well, number one, the structure, the discipline. It allowed me to be very structured in my studies in medical school because there's a lot of information that you have to take in. If college students are taking 12 credit hours per semester, in medical school, the equivalent of that is about 35 to 40 credit hours a semester. So it's a lot of information in a short amount of time and you have to get through it. And in order to get to the top specialties, orthopedic surgery, dermatology, neurosurgery, some of the other specialties like plastic surgery, you have to do well in medical school. And it's not one of those things where you could just breeze your way through and you know make really good grades and do well on your boards. Well, maybe some people can, that, that wasn't me. I have to work twice as hard as most people in order to achieve the same. So my military experience really allowed me to be very disciplined in my studies. I had a very strict schedule where I got up at a certain time every day. I went through and accomplished certain things on my, my task list and checked them off. And before I went to bed, I made sure that everything that I needed to accomplish was accomplished. And this was very similar to my time in the military. We had tasks, we had responsibilities, we had certain things that we had to do. And I learned to just do these things in a very efficient manner to make sure that things are done in a very timely fashion. Another thing that I learned was the leadership. As a physician, you're the leader in the operating room, in the hospital, if you're going upon a patient who is in a code situation, let's say a patient's heart rate stops and you, you're the first doctor or first physician that's there at the hospital, at the patient's room, well, as a physician, you're gonna be responsible for running that code and making sure that patient survives. So you have to direct this person to do this, give this medication here, order this diagnostic test, and make sure that you're doing the right things in a very efficient and safe manner so that the patient survives. If you're not a great leader, being in the military, they're gonna teach you. I had soldiers that were under me. I was in a supervisory role when I deployed to Iraq. My commander came to me and said, hey, Antonio Webb, or they call me Sergeant Webb at that, at that time, you're gonna be responsible for these troops here. This is what you're gonna be responsible for. Um, at this time, you're gonna do this and blah, 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 blah. So, you know, it really taught me and gave me experience in leadership. And, you know, that I extrapolated that into the medical field. And as a physician now, I consider myself a leader amongst my peers, amongst the, the, the people in the community, and also patients, you know, the ancillary staff, nursing staff, x rays, OR tech the orderlies, uh, the people in the hospital. So you have to be that way as a physician, you're a leader, people look up to you. So, and, you know, I really got a great foundation by being in the military. The third thing that I took away from being in the military and my time in the military w was resilience. Especially as a surgeon, you can't be in the operating room freaking out when stuff happens. Even though there's some times where I may say things like, oh, oh I may, 
get a little frustrated or if things are not going the appropriate way or some complication occurs. Uh, but for the most part, I try to maintain a certain composure because in the operating room, as I just mentioned, you're the leader. People can argue, oh, the anesthesiologist is a leader. We're both leaders, we're physicians, we're taking care of a patient, but uh, you're the leader. So you, you have to carry yourself in a, in a like fashion. So the military really taught me resilience and just being able to work through certain situations despite what's going on around you. For example, when I deployed to Iraq, we got shot at maybe five, six, seven times per day. I was deployed to a base called Mortarville because it was the most attacked base in Iraq at that time. They shot rocket propelled grenades, which are RPGs. They shot small gunfire, types of mortars. They, they, they threw these things at us. And at the same time, as a medic, that was my job, I still had to maintain my composure and take care of patients that were wounded. We were just in big tents. We set these tents up, we took care of these soldiers, but they were shooting at us. So that really taught me how to be resilient. And in the medical field as a surgeon, I use that, I get stressed out. Or when I feel like I'm under a lot of pressure, responsibility in the operating room when something's going wrong. You never really want people to know that you're freaking out about certain things because some advice for future surgeons, people are gonna think you're a bad surgeon. So just maintain your composure. Take a step backwards. Whenever I feel like I'm in the operating room, operating on a patient, especially in spine surgery where, where it's really high risk, I just take a step backwards. You know, just think, relax for a second, and get back into it. So to me, that feels like five or 10 minutes, but in reality, it's only five or 10 seconds. But I just take a step backwards whenever I feel overwhelmed or I feel like something's just went wrong. I'll stop for a second and just maintain my composure. And I use that in a lot of other situations as well. When I'm seeing patients in clinic and I'm getting the ER that's calling me, a patient's calling me, the nurse from the patient's nursing home who I operated on three months ago had stopped by my office and concerned about a patient and all these things are coming at you. You have to be resilient. And that's what I really learned in the military. The fourth thing that I took away from the military is to be very efficient with your time. And this came into play early on in medical school when so many things that you have to accomplish in a short amount of time, you're reading through all this material, like what's important, what's not, what's important, what's not, you're 500 pages that you have to read in two hours. And you just have to skim through it and figure out what's mo most important. But the efficiency part comes with experience and just being on the job and just working, trying to figure out how can you effectively manage and most efficiently use your time wisely. And that's what I do. Really throughout my day, there's, I try to make sure that there's really no downtime. I see physicians or doctors in the lounge and they're just like this right here, kicking back, watching TV, CNN. You know, maybe they figured it out. They've been doing this 10, 15 years, maybe, but I'm always thinking about the next thing thinking ahead and thinking what if something happens or if I'm sitting around doing my operative report, making sure that my patients, they have their medications and I'm always doing things, constantly moving throughout the day, which can be a disadvantage because you're constantly doing things. You need to relax sometimes and take your mind off what you're going through. But the military taught me that. It taught me to be very efficient with my time. When we're doing things in the military, things have to be done in a very timely manner. Be very punctual. That's another thing that I learned, be very punctual. If you have a meeting at seven o'clock, if you get there at seven o'clock, you're late. Get there at 6.50, 6.45. And there are circumstances that, of course, I've arrived late to certain meetings and events. Life happens, but get there punctual. Be there on time. That's what the military taught me. So. The military is not for everyone. There's certainly pros and cons to it. For me, the common question that I get is, if you had to do this all over again, would you do it again? And certainly I would. I learned a lot. It allowed me to grow up and to be a man. They taught me structure, discipline, time management, leadership skills, you know, just the things that you need to be successful. You're applying to certain jobs and positions. Even I got out to the military in 2009, so that's, 13, 12, 13 years, people still ask me about my military experience. So it stays on your resume, your applications, and it looks really good. And plus you get the chance to serve your country. Uh, but these are the things that I took away from the military that has allowed me to be a very successful surgeon and to build a really successful practice thus far. 
I've been in practice for almost 20 months and my practice has really uh, taken off and has been really successful thus far. And I contribute that to my time in the military as one of those things that has really set me apart from other surgeons, other practices, um, in order to efficiently and effectively grow my practice to a point where it, it is at today. So if you're thinking about going into the military, there's pros and cons, figure out what's best for you. But uh, there's, you know, there's a lot of things that you can really benefit from, from being in the military. And these are the things that has helped me be a better surgeon, a better person, better father, uh, better husband. And um, I'm pretty sure if you have the chance to go into the military, you may be able to experience some of these things too. So this is Dr. Webb. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.